Ding. Rampage. Hey everyone, welcome back for a breaking news video about that post-apocalyptic show that loves to play with your mind and heart before a zombie eats them, The Walking Dead. Warning, beyond this point there are major, earth-shattering spoilers for people who are not up to date on The Walking Dead comics and television series, and even for people who are up to date. We're talking mind-blowing spoilers that will completely give away the next episode, so if you want to be surprised at all for Rick Grimes' final appearance, you need to leave right now. Yesterday afternoon, as we were finishing our last video, a huge story dropped. Unless we find a corroborating source of information, we respect the privacy of the Spoiling Dead fan site and try not to post any major story news from there, but these spoilers have leaked to Reddit and beyond and even to our own comment section. Given the nature of these spoilers that are spreading like wildfire, we decided to address this brand new information that literally had the entire team here speechless. Before we get into these story details, we just wanted to point out that these spoilers are posted by people with pretty flawless track records. And unless the production spent a ton of money staging a bunch of phony scenes to fool everyone, what we're about to share is what will in fact happen on Sunday in Rick Grimes' final episode, and what could be another major character's final episode, but we'll get more into that later. The first exciting piece of information we have is that Heath's RV was spotted during the filming of this episode. The driver of the RV is none other than Jadis, which leads us to the logical conclusion that Jadis traded Heath to this mysterious community with a helicopter. We haven't heard any details about Heath and his fate since he disappeared in Season 7, and this news has us really excited, but we don't think we're getting any more information about poor Heath anytime soon. This is it. Okay, got it. Next, we're going to talk about what will happen with Maggie's plan to execute Negan. It seems that they're going to speed up the timeline on Negan's story arc, as this has only happened recently in the comics. But Michonne will in fact let Maggie pass to get to Negan, and we find out that Negan has been expecting her for a while. Negan actually wants to die. He begs Maggie to kill him, and when she asks him why, he says so he can be with his wife. As Maggie can't be with Glenn, we believe she doesn't want to let Negan be with his better half. So she decides to not give him what he wants and let him live in prison so he can suffer for the rest of his life. No. No. Although Negan does deserve to suffer, we believe his imprisonment won't last, especially if they're going to even loosely adapt his storyline from the comics as he eventually ends up escaping from his cell and plays a huge part in the coming Whisperer War. Now let's get into what you really came to hear. Information about the seemingly mortally wounded Rick and his looming fate. First, let's talk about the visions Rick is having and how the characters from the past will be incorporated into these hallucinations. Feels like it's ending. The scene with Herschel is rumored to be back at his farm last seen in season two. Rick apologizes to Herschel for what's happened to him and his family and for what he put Maggie through. No, he killed Glenn! We have to. Rick is looking for his family, but Herschel says they're not there and tells Rick to wake up. Rick will go on to later ask other characters from the past the same questions about his family. The twist here is he's actually looking for Michonne and Judith. What about Carl? I mean, what the hell? The scene with Shane does in fact take place during the chase from the pilot episode as we previously predicted, and Shane is pretty much Shane, a total jerk to Rick, but he says he was hard on Rick to make him stronger. It seems like this scene is a classic philosophical debate between two alpha males that we've seen before. Rick will continue to hallucinate in and out of reality, but he does in fact make it to the bridge as we've seen in the trailer, and as he's walking on foot, it seems that he finally got rid of that terrible horse that almost got him killed. We're not sure exactly how this goes down, but Rick leads the herd towards the bridge and it seems now he decides the best thing is for the walkers to collapse the bridge as the project was going to fail anyway. It's sad Rick finally has to give up on his symbolic bridge. We're not sure exactly how this occurs, but Rick spots a case of dynamite on the bridge and shoots it to destroy the bridge and goes down with it. Rick apparently thought all of his friends that came to his aid were some kind of hallucination like he had earlier, and we speculate he thinks that they will all die unless he takes the bridge down. Although there's this shot of survivors running past Rick onto the bridge, we believe the survivors are somehow separated from the zombies, possibly almost overtaken, and they retreat, and it's at that point that Rick blows the bridge. Everyone watches in horror as Rick goes down with his pet project. It must appear to be catastrophic, and the other survivors must assume that Rick dies in the blast, although we believe Michonne will never give up hope until she finds a body. What they don't see, but all of us viewers will, is Jadis finding Rick and calling the helicopter. Well, initial reports said that Jadis told the operator on the walkie that she had an A, some updated statements now suggest that she tells them Rick is a B, possibly to get them to heal him. We're not 100% sure on this detail, but one thing is clear, Rick is getting rescued and will survive. We feel somewhat confident speculating that the group who's been taking survivors ends up being the Commonwealth community from the recent New World Order storyline in the comic books, although we feel it may be a much darker place than depicted in those comics. 
A synopsis was released earlier this week for episode six, but it had proven to be an alternate version designed not to spoil the big surprise, as a new synopsis for the episode was just released, which reads, six years after Rick's disappearance, a group of strangers test Alexandria's trust and patience. The two big things to note here are Rick's disappearance, not his death, and that six years have passed. Six years. It's so sad that Rick is gone for so long and they all assume he's dead, but never really know for sure. And whenever they finally reveal Rick's fate, there better be some Emmy Award winning storytelling to explain this whole big mess. What is happening to Rick that he can't escape for six years? Are his spirits broken at this point? Before episode five ends, we get to witness that long six year time jump happen as Magna and her group are introduced. They end up in trouble with a herd and are rescued by a stranger. The big news of this scene is the identity of this stranger. The Good Samaritan that saves an entire group of new survivors is none other than Judith Grimes with a shotgun in true Carl fashion, and she's even wearing Carl's hat. This sounds insane, people. When we read this, we were through the roof excited. The actress Kaylee Fleming in this photo here is set to play Judith after the time jump, but it's just so hard to picture the baby that's been here since season three wielding a shotgun. What do you guys think of little ass kicker grown up to medium sized ass kicker? Will Daryl be scared? No matter what happens, we're so excited to see Carl 2.0 in action taking out walkers. Now there's one topic that hasn't been addressed with all these spoilers, but suspiciously no details at all have really come up recently concerning this. Lauren Cohen's inevitable departure from the series. Everyone seems so distracted by Rick's exit, might they be missing the fact that this is Maggie's last episode as well? And this shocking turn of events could surprise everyone. We'd like to even take it a step further and ask the question, what if Maggie is going to die since Rick will in fact survive? This would be a way to still shock all the viewers. Although it's been said Cohen leaving the show would be open-ended, what if they were referring to flashbacks? No time jumps were mentioned here like in the case of Andrew Lincoln, so we believe there's a possibility that Maggie may actually die in this episode before the time jump, and it's been a heavily guarded secret while we were all distracted by Rick. In her most recent interview with EW, when asked about the possibility of returning to the show, Lauren Cohen stated, I just don't think it's possible for me to know that right now. She would go on to say the truth is I can only do what's in front of me. These don't sound like super positive comments regarding returning to her role. When asked about discussions with the executives of the show, she stated, we have had creative story conversation about what could happen with the character, and that's all I know. These really don't sound hopeful at all and could easily be construed as discussion about flashback or vision appearances. There's no way to know, but we do believe something big is going to happen in this episode that nobody's expecting, as this leak days before the episode airs and the changing of the description of the episode all seem too easy. We have loved Maggie's story arc over the years, but we're concerned it might be the end for her. What do all of you think about the possibility? For the future. What about the possible Rick and Michonne baby who would be between five and six years old after the time jump? Could it be this little girl as we speculated in an earlier video of ours? We wanted to end on a lighter note and talk about the goodbye video that was recently released by the cast of The Walking Dead. The video starts with the late Scott Wilson, and we see cast members, both minor and major, past and present, all thanking Lincoln and paying him the highest honors and respect. He just taught me to be a better father, a better friend, a better actor. Andrew Lincoln was clearly one of the most beloved leading men of any series of all time, and this touching tribute by all these accomplished actors and actresses really proves what kind of guy he was when the cameras weren't rolling. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. This massive leak has us excited for Rick and still hopeful for unexpected surprises. We'll be on the lookout for any new relevant information that is released to help prove or disprove our theories and come up with new ones. But in the meantime, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram at Binge Rampage. Turn on the notifications button for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. You with the cold python. All of you lower your weapons right now.